Good morning, UPSC aspirants. Let's see how this question from CSAT 2025 should be solved in the ideal way. Every question's language has a hint about how to start solving the question. And you need to have the knowledge which is needed to exploit that hint. Or else you will keep trying different ways to solve the question. Let's understand the limitations in this question. P, Q and R are natural numbers. This means P, Q and R cannot have zero or negative values. They also cannot be proper, improper or mixed fractions. Moreover, keep in mind that P, Q and R may or may not be distinct, while values of sum of P plus Q plus R which you are targeting must be distinct. And 1 upon P plus 1 upon Q plus 1 upon R must be equal to 1. Hey, this reminds me that 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 is equal to 1. And I need to recall the table of fractions and reciprocals with respect to percentages values which I should have already studied in class. This is the hint needed to solve the question. This is a whole table which you should have mugged up before you approach this question. If 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3 is equal to 1, then P, Q and R have the same value of 3, hence sum of P plus Q plus R will be 9. Similarly, 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 is also equal to 1, hence sum of P plus Q plus R will be 10. And 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6 is also equal to 1. Hence, sum of P plus Q plus R will be 11. So, there are three values of sum of P plus Q plus R which satisfy the condition. These three values are 9, 10 and 11. The correct answer is option C or 3. Ivy League Career Services has started various online courses to help you for CSAT 2026. You can pause the video at this stage to read the features of our CSAT course. We invite you to attend free classes for a week. And when you realize that classes and interactions with your teacher are helpful, then take admission. You can send us a WhatsApp message to 828-707-5796 to get the Zoom link for classes.